bad this. You got any more? Oh, just fetch more wine, Mrs. White. So, uh, Prof, of all the impertinent and ill-mannered little oi... Oh, the rust! Mm. Oh, dear! Mm. I'd like a word with him, if I could. I've got a small fortune to invest, Mrs. White. Dabbling in the city, eh? My financial affairs are my own affair, sir, if you don't mind. You wash your hands before you handle those. You've been putting more of that stuff about, remember. You ought to know better, sir. This Mr. Charles, sir, is he all right? You know, straight. He seems to be making a lot of people very edgy. Does he come to the Grange often? Oh, bless you, no, sir. Two or three times in the last month. But only for dinner, you know. He talks about nothing but business. Mind you, I've learnt things. You learn a lot waiting at table. Well, they're all alike, that sort, aren't they? Born with a silver spoon in the mouth. Think they can go on forever taking people for a ride. They're greedy and arrogant. And they're patronising. Oh, yes. We came into the kitchen to see me. Below stairs, they called it. Well, I told him that I'd invested my life savings in that scheme of his. And it was all right for him to give the others a chance to get their money back. But what about me? I'd lost everything. And you know what he said? He said he couldn't care less about a piddling little amount like that. And he just laughed. He laughed. And then he turned round and started walking up. That's when I did it. Because that piddling little amount was everything I had in the world. And I'd lost it all because of him. And all he could do was laugh. Well, he won't laugh again. I've seen to that. <gasps> oh, 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 Reverend, you did give me a start. <laughs> I found it in the loft, thought it might raise a bob or two for Saturday. Well, I wouldn't give it house room. You, you set one foot in my kitchen again and you'll get a taste of this. Sorry, Mrs. Excuse me. These silver spoons yours, then? Out! Mrs. White, do you recognise this bag? Where'd you get that? Underneath your bed. How dare you? You're quite a magpie, aren't you, Mrs. White? Now then. What have we here? Some Chinese porcelain, a silver ashtray, a silver nutmeg grater. You've got quite an eye for small valuables. How long have you been stealing from Mrs. Peacock? You won't tell her, will you? Please don't tell her. Look, couldn't we come to some arrangement? I don't like the look of that new window cleaner. I used to like Mr. P. Has he been giving you problems, Mrs. White? Oh, no, of course not. <laughs> well, not me. Well, I, I, I can't lie, I, I don't get a very large salary. And it hasn't gone up with the years, and so I... Do you have to pay for your own gin? <laughs> no, I would like it put on record that I may have an occasional nip for medicinal purposes. But that doesn't mean that I'm a dipsaholic. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure afraid... that's answered the question, actually, Mrs. White. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I do occasionally take things that don't belong to me, but only very small things. What sort of small things? Spoons. <laughs> <laughs> I can corroborate that, actually. And I mean, I know they were paying for the use of the hall. But I didn't know they were allowed to drink everything inside. <laughs> and I just wanted to ask Mrs. Peacock what I ought to do about it. Mrs. White. Mrs. White. <laughs> I've still forgotten the teapot. You see, that just shows you how much that man's upset me. Fancy forgetting the teapot of all things. Shall I take the tray through to the library then? Would that be a help? Oh, if you would. Thank you, Vicar.
Why did you go scurrying away for the teapot? Where is the teapot? Miles away from the kitchen? No, I'd collected everything from the dining room and I'd taken it into the kitchen and I'd got the tea all ready and I suddenly realised I hadn't got the teapot. It always kept in the dining room the best teapot. <laughs> but the, the, the other one, of course, that we use every day, but I wasn't using that. I was using one from the set. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I, you, Mrs. White. I went Thank through... Thank you, Mrs. White.